I actually really don't want to do that task. It's another expeditious one for me. But I gotta save my points because I've gotta be able to extend um, neck reels. I can't be uh, skipping my my task right now. That sucks. 193 fire giant is not a happy task for me. Um, I've basically gotten three tasks that yield no superiors in a row. Fire giants, um, trolls, and greater demons. And actually now four. So back to fire giants. So that sucks. I kind of forgot I had the Xerix talisman on me to go to the glade. But oh well. Uh, this is another one that we're going to use Expeditious on, though, to get through it quicker. So it should only turn into about a 145 to 150 task instead of the 193. Awkward moment. I forgot I should be recording this. And I made it back in time, tried to go as quick as I could so I could record. All right. Superior Blood Belt after asking for one. And we get an Ensouled Blood Belt Head and a Dark Totem Middle. And 4,100 experience. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. You know, I'm a little bit upset. I thought I was recording earlier today. Well, I was recording. I thought I was recording audio t uh, as well when I was recording this clip, but I guess not. But anyways, I decided to just play around a little bit and test out the, the bursting of Greater Necreos in the Catacombs uh, just to try to get my room boots. I think I only did about 90 kills or so. So not the, uh, the most time spent here. Uh, but I did get my 79 mage from this and wasn't unfortunately able to get the room boots. But we'll just uh, wait until we get a task. But I just wanted to see kind of how this went. It'll be a little bit different when I get the superiors, but it shouldn't be that hard since you can safe spot them. Uh, so all I really need to worry about is just not getting KO'd when doing Greater Necks. Uh, since I pretty much learned that if you drop Prey, you're basically dead if you have all of these stacked on you since they can hit insanely, insanely high. And then after doing the neck reels, we decided to take the five wild pies that I had in my bank and come out to the spiritual mages just to uh, try to get some dragon boots. I figured I, with five wild pies at level 80, I can boost up to 85. So I have three minutes per half pie of uh, killing the spiritual mages to try to get the dragon boots. And I think I was able to get about 95 or 100 kills in this time. But again, was not lucky with the boots. So two, uh, two attempts at different boots in a row and both of them failed just shy of the drop rate. So uh, I guess I'll just wait for, for, the, uh, for the task or if I get my cooking up to be able to make uh, more wild pies. Uh, but I'm not really planning on coming back here until 83 as of right now. Oh well. And imbued heart please. Uh, nope, not this time. So if you notice, I'm up to a nine mil uh, cash stack now, and uh, I think that's up uh, about three mil or so from earlier today. I ended up taking all of the Slayer items out of my bank. Not all of them, but I guess most of them. Uh, a lot of the alchemicals that I got from Dust Devils, so the Battle Staves and Mystic Battle Staves. Uh, where is K4? Um, the Rune items that I've gotten from, from Slayer and from Clues and you know anything else. Uh, basically all the duplicates I took out of the bank. Usually I keep one extra of each thing just in case. Uh, I, I'm not really sure why I do that. I've just always done that on my Iron Man accounts. If I take out any rune armor, I usually leave two instead of one. I don't know. Actually, I actually have no idea why I would do something like that. There's not much log logic in it if I'm not putting down hidey holes. But anyways, um, so up on the cash stack right now and I'm finishing up some prayer grind. This is going to give me 67. Uh, basically I had about 100, maybe 120. Uh, different types of insult heads in the bank. I think about 60 of them were blood veiled and at least 30 demons So actually maybe even more than that 120 to 140 or so uh, But anyways bringing it from 63 to 67 prayer is a pretty good gig I still probably have around 200 total dragon and wyvern bones in the bank uh, So that's a, a decent bit of prey experience left. What's that about 56 57 K or so I think uh, but I, that still leaves me probably about 130 to 140 K away from level 70. Uh, so I've still got some work to do there. I'm going to continue on with Slayer a bit. I'm probably going to stop at 81 and work on some different skills. So I'll see what I end up with at, uh, at 81. And I'll basically just see which way I want to go about getting 70 from there. If I want to grind any Dragon Bones. Or if I just want to stick to Slayer and stick to the Insult Heads. Which is probably what I'll end up doing. Uh, so real quick, I noticed something before I move on to some different content. Um, the Void Knight Robe Bottoms. I, I get asked all the time on my stream why I use these when I'm using uh, Magic Defensive Bonus. These are actually higher Mage Defense than Black Dehyde Chaps are. Uh, just by a couple, it's pretty minuscule, but it is better. Uh, so since I don't have the Carol Leather Skirt, this is what I use instead. Uh, if you're going to do something like this, use a Black Dehyde Top or a Carol's Leather Top or you know whatever uh, God Armor, armor Top that you have. 
uh, because that actually is higher magic defensive bonus than the Void Knight top, but this is better than the uh, the chaps just for uh, future reference. So the Anarka's Lament quest has this uh, camulet that you can get, and you can actually pay one mil cash after you complete the quest to make it unlimited charges, so you don't have to, I think you have to pick up camel dung or something and charge it with that. Um, but if you pay one mil coins, it's unlimited charges, and I figured it would be a worthwhile investment, so I actually have done in, uh, that done on here. Uh, kind of pricey, but since I'm not going to have a, an occult necklace, not an occult necklace, an occult altar or a um, ancient altar in my house for quite some time, uh, not just because I don't have the construction level for it, uh, nor the planks to get there, but I also just don't have the Pharaoh Scepter, and that's one of the requirements to build it, I figured it would be worth using uh, quite often, because I'm bursting a lot of my Slayer Tests now. Well, I'm bursting some Slayer Tests now, I guess not a lot. Uh, but I've been bursting Dust Devils, and I'm going to be getting into bursting Necreals after my first couple of tasks. And then when I get around to Abbey Demons, I'm probably going to be blood bursting those, or uh, shadow bursting. Probably blood, just because the souls are a little bit harder for me to get. Uh, but it's a really quick way to get down here to change to this spellbook, so... Figure, I'm making a ton of money from, uh, from Slayer anyways. Might as well just go ahead and make the investment so I can come down here all the time without having to annoyingly recharge that deal. But anyways, we're going to go uh, burst this dust double task, and I'll teach you guys how to do it if you don't know how already. Uh, but you've probably seen it around quite a bit already. Alright, so we're basically going to gear up in prayer offensive... Prayer offensive? That doesn't make sense. Prayer bonus gear. And uh, not really prioritize the... Uh, magic gear too much just because dust devils have a pretty low um, magic defensive bonus so this should be fairly easy to uh, to hit so let's get a damage book out uh, if you don't have your your prayer book filled with pages it actually still is worth using on certain tasks because it still gives you the plus five prey bonus you just don't get the offensive stats or defensive stats if it's the gothic's book or whatever else so something uh, helpful that some people just don't realize uh, I use it a lot and people always ask me if it's full but it just doesn't have to be to get that uh, that prayer bonus. But anyways, let's go ahead and gear up for this, get our burst runes out, and I'll show you how uh, how to do this deal. For this uh, this method, you want to bring iron darts, an herb sack if you have it. Uh, go ahead and put your runes in a rune pouch. If you don't have a rune pouch, that's fine. You're going to pick up chaos runes anyway, so that'll just stack up so you're not losing too much inventory space. Uh, I also, I don't fully um, stock my rune pouch with chaos runes. I always leave space for a little bit. Because the ones that I pick up, I like putting in the rune pouch just to uh, save some inventory space. And uh, if, you, if you're if you new to this, you might want to get a little bit of run energy. You don't want to start out with 30% with or whatever. Uh, just because you are going to be running around a lot. And if you're not too efficient with it, it's going to be pretty rough. You can see this guy doing it here. And he's pulling with a magic short bow. Which I guess works, but darts work a lot better. Uh, anyways, two prey pots is enough for this method. Uh, you could bring three. But you pick up enough alcohols on the, along the way that if you're doing it alright, I've finished up with two pretty... Son of a bitch, that's my name. All right, I found someone struggling that was bursting them all in the middle, so I ended up helping him out a bit. <laughs> but anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn Prey Melee on, and that's the big deal. Prey Melee on, and the uh, rule of thumb that I use, or I'm trying to use, because I keep messing this up, and I keep trying to do it, and I'm not really thinking about it. Do not check your task. Don't check your task at all, because if you end up taking off your Slayer Helmet, instead of checking tasks, which the remove option is right next to it, you're going to end up killing yourself here. Uh, because these are going to hit you with, uh, what, probably 10 damage each, uh, since you need the Slayer Helmet or a, um, wow, the sounds are annoying. Uh, you need the Slayer Helmet or the Face Mask to kill these, so don't check your task because you've run the risk of accidentally taking it off. I'm sure you've checked before and accidentally te uh, taken your helmet off during some task, so <laughs> don't do that. Anyways, uh, so basically what you're going to do is tag them all with Iron Darts or Magic Short Bow or Toxic Blowpipe or whatever else. You could run around Staff Bashing them, and I've seen that before, but it's not that efficient. Uh, and I would try to stay away from that. And what you want is these bracelets of slaughter. This is the most amazing thing in the world. It's got a 25% chance that when it kills, when you kill a monster, it doesn't count towards taking off it, uh, taking it off of your Slayer task. So if you're at 200 and you kill one monster, you've got a one in four chance to still be at 200 remaining instead of 199. Uh, so essentially, what it does is it extends your task. Uh, it actually doesn't work out to a 25% because the one that ex extends also has that 25% chance, so if you do the math on it, I think it actually works out to a 33% uh, task extension uh, on average, which is pretty damn um, amazing, honestly, because this 230-whatever Dust Devil task is going to turn into a little bit over 300, which essentially just means amazing, amazing experience for me. Uh, but this is about how it goes. You tag them all, 
I like to run to this corner. Some people do it right there or right there or even on the other side. Uh, but you just run between these two spots and it's easier if you click past it. If I click over here, it's still gonna run right here to this corner. Uh, so I just click between these two spots repeatedly until they stack up and um, that's about it. Then you just burst them down and it's amazing experience. I get about 100K magic experience and about 45K or so uh, Slayer experience per task with the tax, uh, task extended. So I get somewhere between 200 and 250 of them, I believe. Uh, and and this happens. Uh, so I guess I'll show you how I go about um, killing the choke devil, uh, since it's a little bit different uh, because you have to stack them a, a different way. But this is going to be a nice boost to Slayer experience, and I can hope that um, that we can get an imbued heart out of this because that's really what I'm going for with these. So let's go ahead and stack these up the same way. Uh, I like turning auto retail off, uh, especially when you get the choke devil because I don't want to freeze everything over here. So I'm going to stack everything up in this spot, and then I like running to this spot over here, which is one, two, let's see, where are we at? One, two, three steps, I believe, maybe four. Four steps to the um, to the northwest, freeze once, and then I like running down here. And I think this is what's worked out the best for me. Uh, so now the, uh, the choke devil is actually in, let me see if I can get this. It's actually in this square. This is this is the square that you have to hit to damage the choke devil. It's in the southwestern square. So if I keep that in mind and attack the one that's right here or the guy that's over here, it will attack every single one that's up here. So that's uh, how I kind of do it. If you stack them up regularly and then just attack the ones that are in everything, you know, that's that's in this square, it won't actually hit the choke devil because its actual damaging square is two to the to the west. Um, just because it's a three by three monster. I'm sorry, I know I'm not the best at explaining that, uh, but that should make enough sense to you guys. And then we're just gonna do this for two rounds. So we'll go ahead and tag everything again and uh, we'll finish off the choke devil like that. All right, so I'd say this worked out pretty well. So let's hope that we can finally pull an imbued heart. I think it's somewhere a little bit over 100, one in, one in a 600 chance from these. So I don't really see it happening, but yeah. So we got a dark totem top and it, you just get triple loot. but. Either way, um, it's a nice boost to Slayer experience. Uh, I think it's about a 3k experience boost here, so that's pretty damn uh, beneficial. I'm kind of happy that I caught that on video. Okay, so I obviously instantly lied on the last video and ended up making this video way longer than expected. Uh, I wanted to keep these to about 5 to 8, uh, but I also don't want to be saving up clips like I used to. Uh, in my last series, I would save up clips and I'd have like probably 4 episodes worth of clips that I could make. And, uh, and release, and then I just never feel like getting around to them. So I basically just wanted to throw everything that I've recorded so far into this one, get it out for you guys so you have something to watch. So if I'm a couple days late on the next one, at least you have a uh, longer video now. But anyways, hope you guys are uh, enjoying the videos, and uh, I'll see you next